Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Administrator, um, the two cartels that are sending fentanyl into the United States are located in Mexico, aren't they? Yes, sir. And isn't it a fact that we could stop those cartels in their tracks if President Lopez Obrador would invite American military and or law enforcement personnel to come into Mexico and work with his military and law enforcement personnel? Senator, what I would say from my purview as the head of the DEA... It, but is my, is my statement true or not? What I would say is that we're focused on the two cartels um, who we believe are doing exactly what you say. They are responsible for the fentanyl coming Let me ask the you United again. If, if President Lopez Obrador invited the American military and or American law enforcement officials to come into Mexico to work with the same in Mexico, we could stop the cartels, could we not? Senator, I believe this is a, this is a whole of government effort and has to be, including whether it's the military, us, FBI, now, Madam, and others. Madam Administrator, I list, I've listened to you here for almost an hour telling us how bad fentanyl is. Thank you for that, but we know. Yes, sir. I'm going to ask you a third time. If President Lopez Obrador invited American, the American military and or law enforcement personnel to come into Mexico and work with the same in Mexico, we could stop the cartels. Isn't that a fact? So, Senator, I can speak to the law enforcement side of this, um, and you just mentioned law enforcement. Uh, I believe that this is vital for both Mexico and the United States. Mexicans are, are dying as well, as we, as we showed in the Chapito. Well, case. then why don't we stop them? So we Would it help? Let me ask you a fourth time. Would it help if President Lopez Obrador, I don't think it's a complicated question, Madam Administrator. You're asking us for more money every year, more money, and it gets worse, worse, and worse. You, you know, in, in the real world, the nitty-gritty of the real world, when you fail, you get fired. In government, when you fail, you get more money because obviously you need it. Now, let me ask you a fourth time. If President Lopez Obrador, and I'd appreciate an answer, if President Lopez Obrador invited the American military and our law enforcement personnel to come into Mexico and work with his, we could stop the cartels, couldn't we? I believe, Senator, that we can stop the cartels. Okay. Have you made that suggestion to President Biden? If I could, I believe that we can stop the cartels by... Attacking. Have you made that suggestion to President Biden? Senator, I have been very vocal in the whole of government setting on the importance of fentanyl and all of us using every single effort and authority that we Why have. hasn't President Biden done it? I mean, th this is the way the American people whose sons and daughters are dying look at it. Our economy is $23 trillion. Mexico's economy is $1.3 trillion. Ours is 18 times bigger. We buy $400 billion every year from Mexico. Without the people of America, Mexico, figuratively speaking, would be eating cat food out of a can and living in a tent behind an outback. So why don't you and the president, embarrassing no one, get on the phone and call President Lopez Obrador and make him a deal he can't refuse to allow our military and our law enforcement officials to go into Mexico and work with his to stop the cartels. Why don't you do that? Senator, what I am doing every single day is working with the incredible men and women of DEA who are risking their lives across 334 offices worldwide. And I appreciate that, but you're not, do, you're not doing what would work. Why won't you do what will work? Senator, we are... Why don't you call the president this afternoon? And say, Mr. President, let's call, let's call President Lopez Obrador privately and make him a deal he can't refuse. Because we both know that President Lopez Obrador has neither the, the, the ability nor the will to stop the cartels. But yet we go along and pretend that they're our friends. And Mexico is our friend. But he has criminal organizations that are killing our people. And you know how to stop it. 
and the president does. And you're not doing it. Senator, we are working every day to stop it. And we but you're not doing what would stop it. We are transforming and we are working in countless ways across the globe to do what needs to be done for the American people. And there is nothing that you, the You know, when it's important to you, you make it happen. When it's not important to you, you make an excuse.